Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Campus. I'm Odriza, and today we are diving into level one of our Python development internship at Cognizant Technologies. So let's get started. Task one is string reversal. I will show you how to write a simple program to reverse a string in Python. So just make a file. I'm giving it the name string reversal. You can give it any name. First, let's define a function that will take a string as input and return the reverse string. We will use Python slicing feature to achieve this. Here, we are defining a function called string reverse that takes one parameter, str. Inside the function, we are slicing str colon colon minus one to reverse the string. The colon colon minus one slice notation means Start at the end of the string and end at position zero, moving with the step minus one, effectively reversing the string. Now let's move on to the interactive part of our program. We will use a while loop to continuously prompt the user to enter a string, reverse it, and display the result. The user can choose to reverse another string or exit the program. We start with a while true statement. This creates an infinite loop that will keep running until we explicitly break out of it. Inside the loop, the first line str equals to input enter the string prompts the user to enter a string. The input function displays the prompt message and waits for the user to type something and press enter. The user's input is then stored in a variable str. Next, we will call our string reverse function to reverse the input string and print the result. But that's not all. We need to give the user an option to continue reversing more strings or exit the program. So let's just add that functionality. Here, the line continue underscore choice prompts the user to decide if they want to reverse another string. The input function displays the prompt and waits for the user's response. The strip method removes any leading and trailing white space from the input and lower converts the input to lowercase. This helps us handle different variations of yes and no, making our program more user friendly. Finally, we will check the user's response. If it's not yes, we print a goodbye message and use break to exit the loop, which ends the program. If the input is yes, the loop continues, prompting the user to enter another string. Now, let's just run this code. So I'm giving a string, Odrija. And here it returns the reverse string. Again, I will give another string, cognifies it, and here it prints the reverse string. And now I will just exit the loop. So I'm entering no, and it shows exiting the string reverse. So goodbye. That wraps up the completion of task one, the string reversal program. For our Python development internship with Cognifiz Technologies, I hope you found this tutorial helpful and enjoyable. Remember, this is just the beginning. I will be covering all the tasks of level one and level two, and even one task from level three in this playlist. So make sure to stay updated by subscribing to Code Campus and hitting the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Thank you for watching and happy coding. See you in the next video.